Okay, art students, we are on the third video. Let's go ahead and color in these beautiful Minnesota state flowers, the lady slippers. Now, if you know, the lady slipper in Minnesota is pink. So I've grabbed a variety of different pink shades. If you only have one, that's fine. I like to experiment, as you found out with our loon, and I like to layer different colors together. It gives it more depth. So let's go ahead and begin. Just like with our regular pencil, you might want to also think about lightness and darkness with your colored pencil and how that will be. So if I put on the dark pencil first and then the light pencil next, it won't look as light. But if I put the light pencil on first and then go on top of it with the dark pencil, it might be a little bit easier to retain some of that light color if I so wish. So all of this part of our flower, the petals, of course, both the long tongue part and the little parts that kind of come out here, those are all pink. If you have gotten this far on your pink lady slipper, you ought to be very proud of yourself. This is probably one of the most challenging drawings that you have followed along with me yet this far. And being that this is close to the end of the school year, I am absolutely confident that you are doing a very good job as an artist. And you know what? I am also thinking that your skills are being challenged and they're being developed as you continue working with me. And you're doing it. You can do this and you are doing it, believe it or not. You are doing it. It's so great. So many people out there might think that they can't do something like this, and you are doing it. Something to be very proud of. Let's grab some greens. Now, green will be the stem. Green will be a lot of green, actually, pretty much on the rest of the plant. I might want to, just like I picked a few different pinks for my flower, I might pick a few different greens for the rest of my plant. Okay. Maybe a few different greens. Let's see, there's a different green. Ooh, this is like a light green. That'll be nice. Maybe we'll grab one more green, a dark green. Okay, I like the dark green. Maybe where I kind of colored it in dark, maybe I can go over with a dark green. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Kind of exaggerates the darkness, but yet it gives it color. Let's see, let's try this green out. Now once I add all of this color on here, I think I'll revisit with a black colored pencil perhaps and kind of go over it one more time um, where I want my outlines to go. So I might outline it one more time once I'm all done coloring it in with a black pencil. Or I suppose you could also do a marker That'll make it look really nice. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and I'm gonna stop coloring right here because I know that you all know how to color. And I encourage you to layer all of your different colors because when you layer your colors, you actually end up kind of creating new colors. Like see how I'm adding this light green over this medium green? And if I touch a little bit of some of this dark green like this, do you see how that happens to look so nice? Yeah. I want you to kind of try layering, experiment a little bit and layer your colors nicely. I find that layering colors that are similar or analogous, analogous means that colors are the same and they kind of go right next to each other. So if I wanted, even yellow is still kind of close to green, that would be called analogous. Okay. All right, I'll show you my final product in a finalized photo. Um, I can't wait to show you. All right, and I can't wait to see yours. Have fun finishing up the rest. Good job.